Hello guys, Impure Death is back here with another map making tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do vertical scrolling. It is finally there, it took about a year of suggesting it and they finally created it. What is vertical scrolling? That means the screen can go up and down. So I'll first explain to you how to make it. Uh, first I'll place a ground, this is for convenience sake and it might make it easier for the people that don't really understand what is going on. Now you copy the map to clipboard and open uh, Word documents. I had another map here already. So here you see an XML. You can also use an already existing XML to change it, but you just have to pay attention to the p value here. I might make it a bit bigger so you can see it better. This bit here. What you need to place here is you need to place an H, an equal sign, and then these uh, symbols. You can also find the same thing over here. So if you don't really know how to type this or you can't get the right symbols, you can copy it from here and paste it there. And the maximum vertical scrolling is 800. And so uh, the value can be between 400 and 800. If you go below there, the glitching stuff will happen. So now I'll copy this code and I'll show you uh, what it does in game. So I'll first load the map. Uh, you see nothing really happened. You see those blue lines, they were added to show you the map border. So if I move the map around you see that there are blue lines underneath the map right now. So if I press escape again the map will center and let's place my mouse spawn. Let's place it there. And you can see it has like the bouncy effect when I jump up but if I add a background you can see better what is going on. So you see that the map is actually longer than it was before and there's no ground here so I'm gonna fall to my death. I can also place it lower so this ground here. So this now you can just build wherever you want. You can also make it completely longer maps. I will show you that in a bit. But you need to take into account currently, even though it does say it is fixed, like vertical scrolling is fixed. Nope, it's not. It's not fixed. So um, I can show you why it's not fixed. Like here, I'll uh, spawn a box. And if I try to add an anchor to this box, you see the anchor is not spawning there. But if I go up the map, so let me try go up if I can. I think I can't do it that way. Um, you can see the anchor is actually 400 pixels above the map. It still needs to get in the screen. Okay, there you see. There you see the, the, an the yellow anchor. And that's the one that connects these boxes together and it makes and it makes no sense. So currently you can't make any shaman maps with this. In the future you can. Um, so right now try to focus only on racing maps with this mechanism or no shaman. So racing and no shaman is currently possible. Uh, if you watch this at a later time you probably don't have this glitch anymore. Also if you want to really wide maps you can uh, copy the XML again and paste it here. And now you add the L equals and the maximum for the length is 1600. Except if you're using De Vellante, which is the, um, the really long maps. But the problem with De Vellante is that you can't really have um, uh, the vertical scrolling. So it's either vertical scrolling and less long or really long maps. So now you have a really huge as map. And yeah, this is really big. If you, you know, I'll place this sideways so you have a uh, negative 15, I guess, is a good one. So you have an idea how big this is, like how far you can go up. And this is quite huge. So, and I'm not, I'm not even at the top of the map yet. So you have a, you have a clue that you can make really big maps right now with really interesting concepts and also the screen moves nicely with it. If you have any questions relating uh, vertical scrolling and you don't know how to work it out, you can always ask the map crew or uh, ask on the forums. Um, you can also ask your questions in the, how do you call the thing, um, yeah, the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.